Welcome to Xbox Uncuts, episode 310. We are back for another week of video game news discussion. Kind of just bullshitting around at this point. It's because of it's what we do. We're proud of it. We're excited about it. There's a possibility that Henry Cavill just got signed up to do uh, Superman again. So, I'm pumped. Another man joy- enjoyed with this news, I would imagine, hopefully, would be Will. Welcome to the show, Will. <laughs> Oh, hello, hello. How, yeah, how yeah. do you feel about that Henry Cavill coming back to reprise his role? Super yeah, man. It, it's it's pretty much what I think most Cavill fans want. I mean, I, I have a big love for Brandon Routh's Superman, but I mean, they kind of have the perfect guy right now, so like, it, it just made no sense to me that they would just dump him <laughs> and just not do anything with, with, his, with the actor. So that, that just made no sense. So I'm, I'm glad that they're fixing their uh, mistakes, hopefully. <laughs> Also joining me this week. Excited about the Superman news. We got Steph. Yes, you got me. And I, I am you. very excited. Very, very excited. I, I was the one who seen it, you know. Yeah, I know. It was me. You brought it up. I seen that shit. I found <laughs> it on the internet. <laughs> me. Nah, but uh, yeah, I might. Uh, especially after seeing The Witcher, I'm like, well, come on, man. We get girl, man. Superman might get a sword and some shit. Like an. Like in, uh, fuck, what's that Mortal Kombat uh, DC mashup called? Third. Injustice, you know what I mean? Get a sword. You know what I mean? Should be tight. You feel me? Yes, I do, Laser sir. sword. That'd be great. All right, All let's right. see. What else? Uh, yeah, so we got the Superman news out of the way. It broke like 40 yeah. minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's why we were uh, bringing that right off, right off the bat. But let me go ahead and say I still didn't watch Justice League real quick. Just get that out the way. So you you're you are Zack Snyder. Is that what you're saying? No, no, the the other one, the one that we the animated one we talked about last. Oh, the you like don't watch that shit. Yeah, I know. No, I never said don't watch that shit. I just said "Uh, that shit's. uh, I'm I'm not the biggest fan. That's all I'm saying. Not the biggest fan. Well, somebody else I know told me that they tried to retcon a bunch of shit at the end with the time travel or something like. That. Oh no! They, I totally told you that. They, they totally did. did you tell do me that. that too? Yeah. Did you tell me that too. Yeah. Well, someone else mentioned it, and they went yeah. in more in depth about. It. I couldn't well, remember. Well, the, the whole idea of retcon it's because they can just like erase that story, then like start telling new stories again. Because Flash. Uh, yeah, bro. They just did it so perfect with Flash, Time Point Paradox. That why would you fuck it up? If you're gonna make a part two, make a part two. Don't don't do this shit. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, talk about shit. Not know. Kingdom Hearts TV series is allegedly in development for Disney Plus. Is it, no? is it gonna be a live? No, it's gonna be an Unreal Engine Five, I believe. <laughs> uh, it's like, like really yeah. Unreal Engine. Uh, wow. So rumor is that my Disney. Disney was going to do it uh, by themselves, but then they were like, nah, fuck that, and they asked Square Enix to create the pilot using Unreal Engine. Which, I mean, why not? Hmm. I mean... That's an interesting, uh, you know, method <laughs> of making it happen. Yeah. I mean, I, I, why not? Fucking, at this point, image quality in video games is insane, and they can just pull off fucking... CGI at this point. Well, you know, a CGI movie mm-hmm. level. I mean, we all saw that PlayStation demo. There is probably <laughs> going to be Kingdom Hearts TV show running on PlayStation 5. That's how they're <laughs> going to announce it. That's how it's coming out. Play a, a good just wait for, uh, for PlayStation, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to get a Kingdom Hearts TV series. Allegedly, I think, that, I think that would be. I mean, it wouldn't be terrible. I mean, if you'd enjoy the games, I mean, it'd be cool. I enjoy the games, the, especially the first two, notably the more so the first one. I remember the first one more. I didn't get a chance to play the third one yet, but it's in Game Pass, so I might play it. I have all of them. Yeah, um, they just haven't started them. <laughs> but yeah, like, I hope they're, they. Uh, they're a journey. Well, they're yeah. they're not like a five hour game. It's long. It's a long game. What I hear, I, I hope they able to adapt. Are, are are they adapting the story, or they're just kind of doing a sequel, or have they said anything about it? I don't believe they've said anything. Hmm. 
There's nothing in the article, put it that way. Article, of course, is linked on our website. But, uh, yeah, they've, uh, let's see, noting that the original voice actors for the Disney characters uh, will be reprising their roles. No further details, such as casting or original Square Enix characters or creative teams. I'm guessing they're going to adapt it in a simpler form, because <laughs> they're like, there's no way they're going to do a sequel to it or anything like that. I mean, at least I don't uh, think so. Yeah. Yeah, no no real juicy details available yet. Not, not I mean, yet. Voice, I mean, yeah. once we hear more, we'll be able to say more, but yeah. right now, I mean, we'll just... It's a cool idea. We'll see what... <laughs> What's awesome is, like, if you built a TV show in Unreal... Then that means, yeah. like, when you move on, let's say they make the next game, like, the assets are, like, just there, you know? Like, they don't really have to... It's more of, like, a South Park situation where it's just like, oh, this looks exactly like the game or it looks exactly right. like the, the movie or TV show. I'd, I'd imagine it'd, it'd be, like, CGI, right? Like, like kind of like that? Or I what, mean, or... if they're building it in Unreal Engine, I mean... The assets are there. Why not just use the same? Like as long as they're high quality assets, which that's what Unreal's showing off now. I mean, that's don't don't see why you wouldn't have the exact same assets. I mean, I would imagine the level of anti-aliasing is going to be much much higher than uh, what you get on because you're not worried about rendering it in you know. 60 frames per second you can just sit there and do a frame a minute and still be in good shape talk about good shape uh it's it's not ea's contract with the nfl just saying they extended that bitch to 2025 i was hoping that maybe just maybe one day we could see a sega nfl game you know yeah, yeah. you know that's shit's not gonna happen not for another five years at least it's uh very disappointing I was hoping, you know, 2K, but uh, no 2K. I wonder if any, if any of the like the minor details change. Like, cause I think they had it included in there that uh, no one else could make like the college games too. Maybe, maybe, maybe college comes back some kind of way. That still, even if it's not by them. Because remember them, they had got rid of it because uh, the students couldn't profit off of it. But now they can. They can pay them or whatever. So I wonder if, like, maybe it can come back now. They worked that in there some kind of way. Because that just happened recently, right before the, the New Deal. I mean, that would be an interesting stimulation. I don't know if that was a yeah. thing. Well, they've been streaming. But it has a lot of streamers playing uh, NCAA. I think it's... 14 or 12. Oh, the last one they made before? Yeah, the, the last one, yeah. There's a yeah. lot of people streaming. They're watching it because uh, there's no sports. So it's, it's, it's become real popular again recently over the last month. But, what, but I never got the appeal of like, playing NCAA AA over like uh, like NBA because it's like it's just college ball. But <laughs> maybe I just never understood it. I don't know. Uh, I mean, college sports are huge. They're they're huge, huge. Mm. They they make, they could they have the ability, depending on, like the like Alabama, the the school of Alabama, just off their sporting, probably makes more than, fucking the Bears. Oh, the okay. the Jaguars. I'd say. I mean, they're not a beloved franchise or anything, but yeah, they make a lot of money off of off of that shit. And yeah, I guess. Their stadiums, like for instance, they're t- I don't know how much their ticket prices are. I've never been to the Alabama stadium, but they fill up that stadium. The the, I think most college football stadiums are bigger than uh, NFL stadiums. Most of, them. like I yeah. know the one here where I live at, uh, it's bigger than the one in Nashville for the Titans. Oh, so I mean that tells you everything. So I guess college football is kind of—I mean, college. Uh, well, I guess college, any sport, it's kind of like a JV league almost, like in, compared to like varsity, you know, NBA and NFL. Is that how they view it? I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but it doesn't necessarily. Uh, well, it does, I still make a lot of money off of it, which is—it's weird how that works out. I guess because of family, it's 
mm-hmm. more important. Yeah, well, I guess like that's a- more for like gambling purposes, I guess, or like uh, I don't know if it's sponsorships. So I guess there is, but. Psychotron has joined us. No, I'm very peeps. ignorant on that. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Psychotron. All right. Moving on to the next bit of news. News. That is not. Oh, no. Did I ruin this? I messed it up, guys. Let's see. Um, Hunt Showdown is now crossplay between Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Have either of y'all That's played good. Hunt Showdown? I have not. I don't. I didn't want to pay fifty dollars for it. <laughs> no, me either. It's too much. But yeah. like, it's, oh. it's an online game, so it's like it's like it's like what is that game? Uh, that that failed. Uh, Evolve, but I guess it's not as many people involved in that game, like as far as like player counts. I mean, it seems like a cool premise, but I I just don't know how to pay like. The upfront cost, maybe if it's like five bucks or something, uh, ten bucks. But yeah. uh, I'm just good that it's crossplay. You you definitely need as much players as possible with those types of games before they like fizzle kind of out the cord. Yeah. <laughs> if, if they ever go offline or whatever. All right, moving on. Xbox Series X pre-order page has been shown apparently on the official Microsoft website, but by the time I got there, they they uh, turned off all those buttons. No pre-orders. You had a bunch of this whiplash of people going, hey, it's four ninety nine or this or that. And it's like, I uh, don't think there was any real leaks. It was just, you know, a stupid pre-order page. Wasn't that up I mean, before? Or was I, it I don't know. Yes. Like, people freaked out about some stupid pre-order page. It's <laughs> like, of course they have a fucking pre-order page. Now it just says coming soon. Like, the idea that they don't just have, you know, a default template for their pages like it just it was weird somebody accidentally activated it you know it's mm. like, whatever it's not it, it's not new you know who cares yeah maybe that's yeah that seems like that's what it was like people somebody just found it and then they made a big hoot out of it <laughs> yeah let's see uh no man's sky coming to xbox game pass for console and pc in june uh i think this is a good game pass game because it's not a game oh. I can recommend. Um, oh yeah, perfect Game Pass game. Like it's one of those like you need to play it to see if you'll even enjoy it, and it's it's a hard sale, you know, it's a hard <laughs> sale. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I bought it. Pop my gripes out about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's it's a fun. It, well, it's an interesting game. I'll say that. It is. It's it's kind of like uh, Subnautica. Like, oh yeah, or maybe it should be the way around because Subnautica came out after uh, No Man's Sky. Oh Cop. really? That's interesting because I like Subnautica. Yeah, I mean it's like resource uh, building to get mm-hmm. your ship back up to speed and oh, co-op. Is the only thing about Subnautica is mm-hmm. No Man's Sky. Co-op? Yeah, it does have co-op. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they added all yeah. the multiplayer stuff to it. It it does. It has a decent multiplayer. I just think the I think the sim- systems are overcomplicated for it, and like they don't explain themselves very well. But they you're talking, you're talking I mean, to a man who played Star Citizen, though. <laughs> yeah, I think this one takes the cake. But that's what, like I said, it's a good Game Pass game because people can try it. It's on Game Pass, but give it a shot. See if you like it. Yeah, I bought it when it was on sale. Uh... I think it was like a couple of months, like a month or two ago, maybe a little bit more. Uh, been playing it; it's pretty fun. I like it. I mean, it's. Uh, I know I took kind of cut Dustin's uh, recommendation uh, first, and I was like, you know what? I mean, just try it. Uh, I mean, it's cool. I mean, definitely, if you like those type of simulation games, like with Discovery, there's and, plenty of depth. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, in that sense. Because yeah, there's I been think, a lot of updates to this game. Yeah, they have a lot of like they added a mech suit or whatever to it too, which is cool. The tutorial is a little bit better too. I don't know if you played it after that, Dustin, but uh, I think they've made it a little bit more easier to understand. But mm-hmm. I'll have to give it another yeah. go. See exactly what's going on with it. Give yeah. it another shot. But so many games, so little time. Yeah, uh, it's but. funny. It's like the opposite of CFDs because <laughs> you're like isolated. 
and like alone and discovering stuff. I mean, you're still doing the CFTs, but it's it's like it's not as social as CFTs. You know what's a social sea of thieves? Super Lucky's Tale, the new one. No, no, bad transition. I know. Uh, but yeah, try No Man's Sky. Give it a shot. Game Pass. Yeah. Save you from wasting forty bucks or whatever. I don't <laughs> even know what fucking No Man's Sky is nowadays. Uh, let's see. Sale, it's like I think it's twenty-five. Yeah. No. All right, but yep, I, I kind of buried the lead. I know everybody's super excited for the new Super Lucky's Tale. It's headed to <laughs> PS4 and Xbox One. It's uh, PS4. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's the version that they made for the Switch. They're just kind oh, of okay. The one they, who played that and said they thought it was better was that you? No, nah, probably not me. Uh, I, I heard it was better. Hearing somebody saying that. that they fixed a lot of the bugs and the controls were tighter and blah blah blah. So okay, that's what's up. That is what's up. I will not play that, but that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's interesting about it is that they're 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 just making like a new release. It's not an update to the current Lucky Tale. So you're, you you kind of can double dip with achievements if you're if you're up for doing that. And uh, yeah, apparently it's different enough that you know the Xbox One version is almost like its own little exclusive version <laughs> in a way. Which is weird, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna pick it up when it's on sale. I mean, I, I'm curious to see they'll offer like a discount for people who own it already, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead to what? Man. Okay, Minecraft Dungeons is available now. Came out on have Tuesday. You... Huh? Have you played I have played it. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Another Game Pass game, though. And I don't mean quality-wise. I just mean, yeah, go fucking get Game Pass. Will, get Game Pass. <laughs> Will. Yes. Get Game Pass. Stop, stop fucking with me. All right. <laughs> Quit, quit beating around the bush. Yeah. But, yeah, Minecraft Dungeons out now. It's fun. Talk about it later. Yeah. yeah. You know what's a lot of fun? Shanty. Coffee Talk, Destroy All Humans, and Cinemora. <laughs> These amazing games are all coming to Games with Gold. It's a value of sixty three ninety six, or 2200 gamer score. It's amazing. <laughs> I think you sold that pretty well. Yeah, like I, I, I deserve a check. Deserve <laughs> a check. Coffee Talk, lend an ear to your customers as you serve up hot drinks behind a bar. As a barista owner and his soothing and relaxing game immerse yourself in the stories of the city's fantasy inhabitants where progression is based on the variety of beverages you serve you will easily get invested in the strong narrative of your customers lives while you're playing this timely character interaction simulator you know it's just I, i'm excited for coffee talk i don't know if y'all know this i love those types of games i can't even Okay, okay. <laughs> you fucking serious? <laughs> Stop it. This game is trash. Out of here. What are they doing? You better not make fun of Coffee Talk. It's my they game of the year. The they coffee Talk. In the face at this point. They might as well call me up and say, Stefan. Where's Eric so I can yell at hey. him and argue about Coffee Talk? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We want you to cancel. We want you to cancel gold. But, but. But you know what? We know you ain't going to because you can't play online. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. Shante the Pirate Curse. Embark on an exciting adventure with your favorite hair-whipping, belly-dancing right. de- genie. After losing that her the game that Eric was playing? That's the game Eric was playing all the time, right? Yeah. On the, on, on the, PS, the PSP. <laughs> That's that shit he was oh, playing. Oh, no. He was playing Pirates of the Caribbean, sir. Like, oh, okay. My bad. He was playing oh. the definitive pirate simulator game. Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> on the PSP. <laughs> I mean, Chate's a good game. Uh, it's a fun little platformer. Um, what's the other one? Coffee Talk? I, I don't know about Coffee Talk. Don't um, hate on Coffee Talk. It's my game of the generation. It's mm, slowly getting better and better every time I talk about it. Uh, I mean, the Xbox DC, I mean, uh, BC games are okay, but I, I, I don't know. They're, they're, uh, 
Uh, I'm hitting miss. I mean, the, what's one of them? Um, what's the best destroy all one? humans the, and humans, Cinemora. yeah, destroy all humans. Yeah, Cinemora is good. Um, but that has like a HD version already out. Uh, it's not 4K for the Xbox. It's like 1080p, I think. But okay, still looks good. And then uh, Destroy Humans has like a remake coming out soon, which is weird. But <laughs> that is, uh, I guess you can try it. You know how the old game was before uh, getting a new one. Psychotron wants to be very specific. Free is free. Try <laughs> free is free. That's true, Psychotron. But you know, it's uh, also uh, you know these types of services are kind of showing their cracks like for at least a while now now. you can see that yeah game pass has kind of sucked up all the good air and (laughs) whatever's left over is is left for games Games with gold gold. which i kind of wonder i hope they maybe modify these services to like maybe streamline it and make it like a little bit more worth your your money besides just just multiplayer um so i I don't know I, i i think they just gotta redo these things because they're they're kind of a product of a of a previous generation they're they're not um because they're so different now like the the game pass is out there ps plus is out there so it's it's x cloud hard to coming out of nowhere you know or x cloud yeah just another service another five games yeah. like batman arkham knight pillars of eternity mortal kombat x or in the will of the wisp and batman 3 beyond gotham the lego game it's all there yeah, it's a good variety of games. Yeah. Definitely, uh, you got two good Batman games, and you know the other the other, two other ones are pretty nice. I mean, so you're like, trying to say uh, end of gen might be better next gen. Yeah, I mean, I agree. It's like we we are like kind of hitting the the bottom of the barrel of uh, the generation. So yeah, that's true. I, I could see games of gold next gen kind of popping off a little a little bit better. A little bit better, but I, I, I mean, I'm still in the camp. I want them to kind of kill gold and just have, you know, X Cloud, make X, make Game Pass the your entire vision, unlock multiplayer from a payment subscription. Mm, yeah, it's not going to happen. Nah, it's just too much money on the table, honestly. But well, is it though? Is it because? Yeah, because you kill... <coughs> By doing it, you would kill Game Pass Ultimate because people would just need Game Pass. Exactly. So it would drop it down to 10 bucks versus 15 And, you know, it's... I mean, still 10 bucks a month is really nice for them, but... No, they weren't nice enough. I, I'm just like, not... No, but, the like, there's so many, off. like, dollar subscriptions and stuff like that. And, like, people like me that bought three years worth of gold just to upgrade for a dollar for three years at Game Pass Ultimate... Like the yeah, question is, well, a lot of things, well, a lot of people don't realize is when you do that dollar upgrade and say you had already had three years, it shortens the amount of time that you got. Like if it was say it was three years, it would shorten it to like I don't know what instead of thirty six months, it would be thirty five months or twenty eight months something. Like that. No, they if do, you if you did your upgrade properly, if you bought gold first and then upgraded for a dollar to yeah. game pass ultimate you got the entire time they changed it the entire time it never reduced it you don't, you don't know it until you see it in the fine print but yes yes i i've done it i've done it that way on two different accounts twice on each each time and it's, it says that i'm just me reading it a lot of people don't realize that yes you do shorten the time if you've already had it existing gold and, and then did the discount for Game Pass Ultimate or Game Pass. Well, if you did it the second time, but the first time you get the full. No, I mean, no. Well, one was for my son's account. And yeah. One was for my account. And we both already had gold. But I, uh, they had the dollar thing, and I gave myself Ultimate. And I gave him Ultimate. But his wasn't for, it was only for one month. But it shortened his, uh, he had like a three month, I think. And it made it from... I think he had like, I want to say like 36 days left on. Well, his. if you do it the other way, it definitely shortens it. I know for sure. But I know for a fact that mine, my three years of gold is still three years of Game Pass Ultimate. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, well, when I but did if, it for No, you, but you're completely right. Like, if you do it the opposite okay. way, it totally shortens it down. 
What do you mean? What do you mean if I bought? So if I, I have Game Pass it? Ultimate and I put in a year of Xbox Live Gold, it short it cuts it in half. No, I did it the as an upgrade. Way. Yeah, I know yeah. it cut it for sure. It cuts it in half, but the uh, the other way, I totally got. I have all three years of gold, uh, Game Pass Ultimate. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think maybe Ult- Game Pass Ultimate might be like the best way to like to just incorporate live gold into it, and just you know. Do you have Game Pass Ultimate? Well. <clears throat> I had it, but then it expired, and once my gold ran out, because I had merged them like you guys did. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, because I don't know. I mean, just like I said, you know, just pay for online. It's it's not a great perk, you know, because you really should not have to pay for that. Um, so you're basically just getting... Hey, I don't play for PlayStation Plus. I, I, I have PS Plus. Yeah, I have PS Plus just because, like, the discounts, but... And sometimes I have played, like, Street Fighter Online, but, yeah, it's not really that worth my while uh, to get PS Plus much, because I'm not online as much as, as Xbox. Uh, yeah, I but, couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to buy PlayStation Plus personally. Cause I same. I don't play online, but every now and then, like, uh, like I would want to play something online. Like yeah, I want to play Uncharted. Yeah. I yeah. Just, yeah, I just buy. Them. So and then I get the or like I mean I'll be shopping, and uh, like I wanted to. I think I wanted to get Detroit Become Human. And uh, days gone, both are like under twenty bucks a piece, and because uh, it said the price, and then it's, it said with you know with plus, it's this price. I was like, fuck, I don't want to pay fifteen more dollars. So I spent the nine dollars or whatever it is a month, and mm-hmm. you know just added that, and then I got the discount. Ah, nice. Yeah, if you're smart, you can get discounts, and you can find like cheap cards on the on uh, ebay or, or amazon or yeah. use credit from the xbox live <laughs> and then use it towards amazon and then get a free playstation card <laughs> yeah, know, you, yeah, you PlayStation has the credit card you can get like that credit card and you get you know, like points towards your account yeah i mean I'd you never get do, something never do that well yeah i always use my points on nintendo uh well, you're talking about PlayStation. Uh, X- yeah, I, it's weird. It's just weird. I don't want a credit card to. Uh, yeah, it's anything. an actual place of PlayStation credit card. Yeah, it's like it's a, just weird. Like a, yeah, I know. It's like money, but it it says PlayStation. Oh, it's money. It's it financed just, through Sony yeah. or whatever. <laughs> the card lo- actually does look pretty cool, but I mean, could you imagine like if I if I was like taking out a ran like a girl. On a on a date or something, I pulled out that PlayStation card to pay for our <laughs> dinner. She'd she'd probably get up and walk away. <laughs> hey man, money is money, you know. They're not they're judgmental, you know. But yeah, I, you know. But it's it is. I know what you mean. That's it's pretty funny. I mean, that's a little extreme though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's like the GameStop <laughs> fucking credit card. It's like, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, I remember. You remember when they did that too? I forgot I about that. But I'll they try to, <laughs> to ask me if I want to. I was like, no, I actually, I'm trading in games and I'm going to use your money that you're paying. <laughs> yeah, use it against them. So that, I can translate it. He, he bought PS Plus for Neo too. Uh, what, does that have all It does have go op yeah. Oh, that's weird. What? What's uh, weird Neo, about that? That Neo, I mean, I guess, I don't know. It's just weird to have to play PS Plus for co-op in the game, but. That's, I guess that's the yeah. Way. The online isn't free anymore, so you uh, have to. Yeah. Like I remember when I was wanting to play Smash Brothers online, I was like, "Wait, what? I gotta pay for online to play this game?" All I'm just saying is, I got a family account. So got a what? Family account. Hit that's me up saying. after the show. That's all I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> but uh, I'm not paying. For oh no, this real shit. quick. So I, uh, uh, I'm not gonna leave it for the after the show. So Nintendo offers a family account where you can have twelve people. All on the same account for one online subscription. Like you don't have oh, like it's thirty really? bucks a year for twelve people. That's that's uh, quite good. That's, that's almost like yeah. That. So like well, you just find a friend with a family account. Y'all all split it like fucking. If you get all twelve people, you're spit. You're all paying at like a dollar, <laughs> <laughs> like two bucks a pop. So it's yeah. You can definitely make Nintendo's online thing easier on yourself. Oh, okay. Quite a good deal. I mean. Uh, Sounds kind of similar to what Xbox was Xbox was trying to do earlier in the generation, but with like uh, with 
I think was it's more like with game sharing, right? This is just a little different, but I mean, there is zero game sharing to this. This is just access to the online, and then yeah. you get access to SNES and NES ROMs because you're you technically have an active subscription. Mm -hmm. uh, the deal breaker for it is Nintendo Online still fucking garbage. <laughs> I know that's why. That's, have you ever been on Nintendo Online, sir? Uh, you got to use a goddamn my... cell phone to talk to somebody. Uh, well, yeah. I always use Xbox Live to talk to Yeah, I know. I was... It's so bad that you, you, you turn on another console that you pay for their online subscription to use it for your Nintendo product. But now, now I would just use Discord. Yeah. With yeah. my phone. That's a, that doesn't drain my battery. Like, I'm sure that Nintendo app. Yeah. yeah Nintendo, on, Nintendo Online is very, it's like sub- uh, it standard. Is the worst <laughs> it's like, gaming service. It's, <laughs> Online it's, it's gaming surprising. service. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so surprising that they have so many games that use online and they're they're so behind. I mean, it, it's, it's shocking. Frustrating. Yeah, and I, I and I'm not, I'm not even asking for like a Xbox PlayStation level fucking service. Just something more yeah. than just fucking yeah. Hook up your cell phone to a wise, you know, and have a, a splitter like to go have, between. I like you. If you got a headphone jack on your console, you should be able to use that to talk to people. Oh no! That's weird. That we got to protect the children. <laughs> yeah, like, I know in Fortnite you can do it that way, but it's I'm trying to bizarre. figure out what why that the app you have to use the app. Like what because that, the using? app is the actual because it's not even like the party systems in the the console either because. For you to join a party, like, let's just use, uh, what is it, uh, the, the paint game, the first-person shooter. Uh, Splatoon. Yeah, uh, Splatoon. Splatoon. Yeah. Like, lobbying and all that shit's done through your phone. And then, uh, yeah, it's uh, weird. It's fucking when weird. On, when I played it online, I had that game. I traded that shit in, but I had it when I first bought my Switch, and I didn't use the phone. I think it was before it came out, though. So, uh, yeah, answer. I think that was before it launched. Yeah, because I wasn't paying for that shit. I, that's why I traded it in because it was like, you can't pay, play this online for free no more. I was like, mm -mm. is that the Oops. Wii U version that you were playing? No, no, I was playing the Switch version. Oh, the Switch version? When I first yeah. bought my Switch. Oh, before yeah. they, they they put the online. Yeah, yeah, it was before oh. the online launch. No, but you like uh, to join your friends in a party and then go, like, not even like, like, specifically to voice chat or anything but if I, like the three of us wanted to play we would have to go on our phones get into a lobby together and use our phones to start the matchmaking for the fucking party it's fucking yeah, bizarre uh, unbelievable all right you know what's unbelievable wasteland 3 post-apocalyptic world dev diary series is coming out uh i didn't read this article so what's going on with this will you, you brought it up I, I don't know. I've never played yeah. Wasteland 3. I, I'm so lost here. <laughs> so the Dev Diary was... Uh, so I watched it. Um, it was pretty much going more in-depth with, like, the uh, character system and the kind of, like, the uh, dial the um, story where you can um, recruit, like, let's say, like, an enemy character into your group and you'll have different outcomes and um, how your party system kind of works and... Uh, yeah, it just goes more into detail of like the like the story, like how what happens after Wasteland Two and how they transition how they transition to Colorado. Um, so it's interesting that they're still kind of leaning on two for the story, but most likely you won't need to play that just to play this game because it's it's its own story, I guess. Question: mm -hmm. What what other, what game was it similar to that's not Wasteland? Uh. I guess the original Fallout. Is that the only one? That's basically that's basically wasteland. Like, and so is it kind of like Gears Tactics? Is it that kind of gameplay? A little bit. It's it's more. It's way more tactical, kind of resource driven. Like like say you use up like bullets, and it's very um, granular. Like it's it's very like detailed. It was like with regards to like. <clears throat> what what your next moves are, and then you get get the permadeath. I mean, I two was oh, permadeath. Okay. Yeah, it it was uh, for me. I, I liked it, but I had some issues with the combat. I, I didn't like the way it was paced and like how the story was. So I don't know. Maybe if I, they come out with like a definitive edition that fixes some stuff, but I'm ho I'm hoping three uh, makes it a lot more accessible and uh, 
more easier to get into because it, it is quite daunting to get into that um because you'd be losing party members left and right with like bad decisions and then you kind of left you know be pretty much game over <laughs> so you have to make like so many right decisions that it's, it's insane so you, you know hopefully they make them more accessible and uh, like i said and they don't make it quite as hard and challenging uh or they give you like different uh, uh ways to play it so that you don't have to start over in, in a bad way that's, that makes you like annoyed and frustrated but uh yeah the dev diary it showed uh the faces look a little better too like i i noticed earlier dev diary the faces look pretty bad but uh maybe they fixed it and with the newer like update or or their build was a lot better so i noticed the faces are pretty decent on this one yeah uh, i don't know i might be a little bit more interested in it than i was before just from playing gears tactics now that you stayed We'll see. I'll let you play it first, and you can run it. <laughs> well, actually, you know it's going to be in Game Pass, so I might try it out anyway. Well, two. I think two is in Game Pass, right? Yeah, but uh, I'll just wait for the new one. <laughs> yeah, it's I a little rough. Me. Yeah, because it's like I think it's like nine hundred p. It's it's kind of very low resolution. Oh, man, well, I don't care about the graphics. I just shit. Yeah, but it, it doesn't help, man. Like the like the gameplay, <laughs> it just because it, it, it's so small. Like it's isometric, so it, it's hard yeah. to see the details when it when it's so grainy and bl like kind of blurry, but. Um, that's why I'm hoping to make like a remake or two, not a remake, but like you know, like a, like a 4K edition or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, if, you, if you try if you try the second one, you kind of get a feel for the combat, and maybe it'll ease you more into the third one. But I mean, if you want to wait for the third one, that's that's just as good too, because they're probably gonna make it because uh, they're part of Microsoft Studios now, so they're most likely gonna try to make it as far as you know, also the Game Pass thing. So they're probably gonna try to make it a lot more accessible to people who uh, never tried uh, Wasteland. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm sure it's gonna be on Game Pass too. So you're gonna. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's uh, definitely gonna be on Game Pass. Yeah, so I'll just wait for that. Yeah, that's all you right there. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to shit out. See what it's. See what it's in. And because, like, like I said, I, I will say that, man. I I don't know. I need to go back and figure out what I'm doing wrong because I got stuck on this part in Gears Tactics, and I don't know if I. I feel like I'm at a part where I'm supposed to have party members, and I didn't bring them or mm -hmm. i didn't get them yet and i keep getting killed because like there's so many enemies on i was like this is impossible with just two people like you'll have 40 people how am i gonna kill 40 people when i have one turn and there's only two of us so, so and, and you you literally get 40 people you know first like one you know one or two enemies pop up the next thing you know you got like six e-holes and there's <laughs> You know, a bunch of monsters all around you, and they all get one turn. So did two of your characters die, or, or just they branched off? No, no, I mean, like, uh, it's it's like, uh, I'm trying to, it's like missions. So, mm -hmm. like, it's not like, can, like, you in between the missions or whatever, you're, like, in the like in the menus and stuff, you kind of, like, upgrade your characters and stuff. And I'm, I think maybe, like, I'm supposed to, like, select the other characters to come, because you get, like, so many party members, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I think that you get to choose who goes with you each time. And I just, maybe I didn't choose the party members. Oh. I don't know. Because you get two, like, the ma two main characters, which is uh, um, Kate's dad. And then there's some other guy. You wouldn't know who it is. I, I don't know if he's relevant to the gear story other than, other than this story. But uh, you get those two guys. And then you find, like, a bunch of characters along the way. And you kind of, like, acu accumulate a bunch of characters. Cole's in uh, the game. Oh, uh, so you don't start out with like four people starting out? Uh, I mean, you get you get two other characters, yes, uh, but they're not like they're like generic like characters. There's mm -hmm. a Carmine though. There's a Carmine. I mean, he's almost generic because it's Carmine. <laughs> but yeah, you yeah. get like yeah, you get a generic characters basically. I mean, they the designs are really cool, but they're not like this guy, like the main character. Like mm -hmm. that, his design's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks but, like this. Uh, uh, just like a few characters that are like, uh, like very uh, ingrained to the story, and then the other ones are kind of just, just I guess cannon fodder <laughs> or whatever you want to call them. Red shirts. Yeah, but but I mean, there's still like, like uh, there's a couple of the like I like. There is this one guy like, uh, like I'm assuming they're like heavy characters because they have like mini guns mm -hmm. or the. 
I forgot what they call it in the game. Mulcher. So what it's called? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get like a mulcher or whatever. And I, you know, so I make sure I was he's with me. Well, I see, I guess I didn't do this the last time, but yeah, you make sure he's with you. So you got a mulcher, then you got a chick who can go invisible. She has like a shotgun and she uh. has a grenade. So and you can like, you know, level her up, and I'm assuming their invisibility gets better and, and all that good stuff. So and the same thing with the the heavy guy. He gets more uh points where he can move more because since he's heavy he don't he can't move very far or it costs more points to move but anyway i'm just way too far on too much on gears tactics but anyway go ahead next topic street power soccer that's the game you've been waiting for <laughs> it's super exciting extreme superpowers precision rhythm style it's all in one game it's the rawest form of soccer you know you love it can't wait for it <laughs> no yeah the reason why i brought that up is because uh, we need more games like this man like because there's no NBA Street. There's no. This is pretty much very similar to uh, was it FIFA Street when that came out. So I hope they make more. At least if it's not EA doing them, hopefully other in deve- independent co- you know companies or developers actually make these types of fun arcadey sports games because there's not really much out there besides you know your odd indie or two or you know you got trash like NBA Playgrounds <laughs> that uh. That's trash. Yeah, that, that's pretty bad. Uh, it's kind of like pay to win stuff. I, I from what I've seen, I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe I've maybe I'm wrong on that one, but uh, when I see the reviews, they're usually not very very kind to that game. Okay. Street power, um, so got, soccer. You got sir. something in uh, oh. Is there gameplay? What for for the soccer game? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find some. Yeah, it's it's in the. Uh, the what do you call it, the um twitter uh dms so check check that uh, out i'm watching it right now yeah. i'm gonna address that comment in a minute will uh so- sea of thieves free lost treasure update is available now you get lost treasure as the latest sea of thieves monthly update available now for you blah 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 players are invited to revisit tall tales yeah so tall tales are now gonna have checkpoints so if you yeah. can't finish one all in one fucking go you'll be able to just Go back to that checkpoint and continue your mission. That mm-hmm. about fucking time. I mean, I get it. I enjoyed the fact that it kind of forced you to, like, it's like, okay, I have to be, you know, give up an hour and a half for this adventure, which, you know, I get it. Like, you kind of want to keep people, like, you have to be focused because you don't want people, like, just dropping off, like, hey, I'm only halfway through this, I'm a quarter. But at the same time, it, I think this could be done if it, maybe new content you, force people to do the entire thing in one shot while like you know the next monthly update you allow people to hit those checkpoints you know that way kind of forces people to like they can't just go okay let's quit out real quick so that nobody can mess with us while we're sailing like it's uh yeah it's kind of part of the game yeah, you got shit to do sometimes so (laughs) yeah so you can't be i like it both on cds yeah yeah uh, an expensive yeah, array of daily bounties. So that's cool that they had daily quests. I'm gonna have to. Well, yeah. I I didn't know any about anything about this stuff, and I haven't played Sea of Thieves in a minute. Daily bounties might bring me back into that game. I I, I ain't even kidding. Like, if I could <laughs> just go shoot somebody, make quick loot. Oh, might be worth my time. That's all I'm saying. Weekly events and one-off promotions ensure players have a choice of goals to pursue and uh, rewards to earn. Making good use of Sea of Thieves, established characters, and locations. All right. But, yeah, it looks really cool. Still Sea of Thieves. Game Pass, of course. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, it's mostly a lot I mean, of good. I think it's quality. a lot of good uh, quality of life parts right. to that. Yeah, yeah plus they added a, a sweet uh, State of Decay uh, ship. Yeah, ship. I, that's the yeah, first. I, I was like, that. this motherfucker added this just for the ship. <laughs> and apparently you can get it without spending money so it might be something that me and you do will to unlock that ship yeah i i might have to hit you up on this one i mean Dude, it's the, uh, the, the, the the fucking the emblem on the front of the ship looks really fucking cool with the hands yeah i won't lie I it's pretty it. fucking dope like, yeah i saw that and i was like I was the other the rest of the ship i'm like ah, it's all right you know and then you see that and you're like <laughs> all right i, I get it i kind of need yeah, that i, I, I like, kind of get that <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that's it's offered through the uh, the weekend um, event or something like that, right? Or, or is it? 
It's one I of the, so. the timed events, I believe. It's it's available through, and and then it goes to the Emporium after that. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm booting like... up my Xbox to because of this other comment. Uh, no, you're fine. I'm just. Uh... So I'm trying to remember how this exactly works. Okay. Yeah. Usually, so, you... uh, so I'll yeah. go ahead and read it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, man, I started streaming today off my Xbox, but I'm struggling to make me to make me and my friends louder as the game sound is too loud, and I tried to turn the in-game sound down, but that didn't seem to work. As I want my game sound still through my headset, but not just on the stream. Any help would be appreciated. All right, so let's let's pop this up. I'm going to launch Minecraft Dungeons. I'm going to see what happens. Let's see. I haven't streamed from Xbox in a minute. Because usually when I stream from Xbox, I'm in party and we're just playing like uh, something like Jackbox Party Pack where people don't want to hear me. They just want to hear the game. Um, right. Yeah, uh oh. Everybody's going to hear my audio. <laughs> if, yeah. uh, I'm also going to fire that up as well. Alright, I turned that audio down. Alright, you know what? It would be helpful. If oh, you know what? I don't have it plugged in. That's what's going on. Man, this is great podcasting. Great <laughs> podcasting. Will talk for me. Talk. Will. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, so I've I've not done this. Uh, I've not streamed uh, with this issue as far as like streaming and trying to get your voice included uh, higher um i don't think i could think of is maybe trying to balance your your settings either in game or through the xbox live menu or or just lower the the volume of the the game music or, or sounds but i, I don't know i'm, I'm not 100 percent uh experience with this dustin or, or, or stuff might know more than me on this one but <clears throat> yeah it's it's a odd problem i i hope they you get that fixed <laughs> hopefully the dustin have something for you if not uh we'll see you we'll see I, I don't know more i was gonna go ahead and say it <laughs> no don't ask me i don't know anything about but while we're waiting on him to figure it out let's talk about let's talk about this shark game you put in the deal <laughs> yeah that shark, <laughs> the game shark pg dope. Shark yeah, PG. yeah, man, the shark game was fucking amazing. This is a long Word. time coming. How much is it? <laughs> oh, it's like forty bucks. I, I, I don't know if you'd willing to buy it right away. Oh, man, I mean, did you buy it? <laughs> no, I'm waiting for a sale. But uh, I, this is to be the first thing I get <laughs> when it goes on sale. Seriously, uh, because this this looks fucking amazing. Like, uh, let me see. The name of it is uh, Man Eater. Yeah, Man Eater. That game looks amazing. <laughs> You play sharks and you upgrade your shark and you just eat people. It, is, it looks like there's even a story in there, which is interesting. So that, that's pretty, pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. In the trailer, you see, you could turn into like a what's the the fish called that has the light on it? That's supposed to have like electric, like some sort of, you know what I'm talking? Like a yeah. shock. A shock. I forgot. You can like shock the sh the fish can shock people. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know the name of it either, but. I'm not yeah. a I'm not a fish guy, so I have no idea. <laughs> You're a uh, marine biologist. <laughs> no, I'm not a marine. Uh, is that what you call it? Is that what that was? Uh, a fish yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's what you know. The guys that are on those huge ships that that in, in the TV show, they're like yelling at the the huge boats, telling them, "No, you can't dump your oil here." Those guys. <laughs> nah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, the game looked pretty. I mean, I was like, okay, but I, oh, okay. This so game should be Game Pass. I would, I would probably download it. If it was yeah, this totally uh, it would be a good Game Pass game. Um, yeah, so they are called Anglerfish. That uh, looked it up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the Angler ones that the light. Yeah, it almost looked like a a, a Pokemon when he was you know, <laughs> man, right? Did it? Not yeah, it kind of did. Yeah. Yeah, very, it's original game though. I, I like the premise. You know, it's not. Uh, I mean, there is another shark game like this. It's um, by Ubisoft. That you, you like eat people. It's kind of like a 
uh, some of that 360 game <clears throat> where you're like your fish eating other fish. I forget the name of it. You remember stuff? The fish eating other fish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know nothing about video games where you play as uh, uh, aquatic um, animals. Is that how you say that? Aquatic? Aquatic. Aquatic? Yeah. yeah. I don't know nothing about that. Uh, you know what? I think it's feeding frenzy. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's not, uh, that's so, so that. yeah, so there's feeding frenzy. There's um the Ubisoft game at which I have to I think it's Shark Attack or something like that. I, I have to I have to look it up again. But <clears throat> I mean, I, this is I guess the next level of, of those types of games. <laughs> yeah, this is like the uh, the sequel to the Goat game where you just you don't do anything but you're just a goat. Yeah, but this this looks def- definitely more like uh, hardcore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely uh, cooler, cooler looking at least. It's like that uh, deer game that they were making fun of Xbox for having people were making fun of that. Remember the game where you play as a you like mean a two D like two D game. game. That game that headlined E three two thousand nineteen. Yeah, that game. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, but it's cool, man. I I, I definitely want to try this out. I hope I wish they had like a demo for it. So, Dustin, any news on the updates on this? Uh, uh, I'm checking one more section out on, before on I... tech support. your tech support. <laughs> Stuff you you know? Any other news besides uh? Uh, I mean, we kind of already went over the media. Uh, is there any media news other than the, the, uh, Jesus Christ, the Superman stuff that happened? I mean, well, uh, the other game stuff. I think there was well, the PlayStation Last of Us thing was. Oh was yeah, like, let's talk about that. Did which you see I, the footage? I, I, I only saw parts of it. Um, because I'm not really like too into it, but because uh, I still have to get the first game through. Wait, what? Uh, but I have to. You ain't beat the first game. No, I played like a little bit of it, but after so many games I've been playing that. Man, it's... nah, bro, fuck that. You need to just play it and get it over with. It's a good <laughs> game. Well, I mean, see, when it came out on PS3, right before um, 360, 360, Xbox One and PS4, like that summer, I mm-hmm. I bought it then. I traded in some stuff and I got it then. Uh, that was like the last. I think that was the last last gen game I bought. Was was the Last of Us? I think unless there was something else. I no, I think I may have bought Battlefield because it came out on both, and I bought that on PC because I built the computer at the time too. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a it looked like the you can tell that there's like a the the melee system that they added to this mm-hmm. is incredible. Uh, I can't wait to see. Uh, hopefully they do it, another Uncharted because the melee system in Uncharted was uh, like that they put in the third game mm-hmm. really made that made the fourth game the uh, not the fourth game but the uh, Last of Us like the melee system in the first Last of Us pretty cool so seeing them upgrade this so much from because you know they took those same things in Last of Us and put it in Uncharted Four and I like really, really love the melee system in Uncharted Four. The stealth in there, and I can imagine the, the stuff that'll be in their next game because the stealth in this amazing. You can go prone. Uh, I'm, the animations in it is just next level, like better than anything that we've seen. I I will say, I felt like Sony Sony saw that inside Xbox and was like, Nah, bro. <laughs> Nah, we're not gonna do that. See, <laughs> we're going. Well, they have you know, the actual games to show off. I that, mean, it was yeah. one game though. It was one game that they showed. Even if it was only one game, I mean, I want to say it lasted for a good thirty minutes. Like, I swear. Look. Well, I mean, that would the next goes. Halo. Look, listen, when the next Halo was announced, if I get a two-minute trailer, or not even two minutes. A trailer similar to the one that we've seen already, but just something different. And then they'll say, "Oh, we can't wait to show you more," and it's not this in depth. I'm gonna be very upset because that game's supposed to launch this year. Yeah, I'm gonna say some weird, but they can't be that stupid. <laughs> they, they, bro, they're gonna have to bro, show gameplay for Halo. Bro, 
Bruh. Have they let us down before? I mean, do you have see they, Have they said, have we said they can't make this mistake and then make the same mistake? Yes, they have. So, I mean, yeah, but with like E3 type shows, I think they're more, um, they've been more consistent uh, with, you know, E3. With, with Halo. Yeah, they have to like show stuff. You can't, like, there's, well, last Halo 5 was when they showed at 3, it was pretty, and you know, they showed the, the part where you're in San Helios and, uh, you're fighting the Covenant and, and Guardians. And if stuff you like remember, that. whenever they, the, they they showed and it was playable, Halo 5 it was like, I want to say in February, the year that it launched. So they had from February all the way until, because remember right before Halo 5 was Master Chief Collection, it was a huge thing that they were like, we're never going to do another Halo without a beta. And they made sure that there was a beta for Halo 5. But if this game launches this year, where's the beta? Why haven't we played it during the summer? Oh, what's what's going on? Well, usually Halo, I mean, Microsoft's usually been very uh, spotty with their Halo coverage. Like, there's always been like huge long stretches of time between, you know, seeing like announcements and and gameplay, which is. Pretty frustrating because you, you you just want to see the game. Well, uh, they, I mean, the press the 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 press for uh, Halo Five was amazing. You remember the podcast? They did the podcast. Mm-hmm. They had uh, a lot of uh, docs, video docs that they did up until it because they were doing the podcast and those docs. I mean, there was a lot of stuff. I mean, in yeah. comparison to this, there was so but much that, more. There was. Um, they, I think they're just trying to keep it more mysterious or, or maybe they're just holding all their cards for like closer to release date uh but i just hope the marketing them cards you can't hold them cards and they and they, know. they they're just some random they, the 10 and a and a, and a an eight of spades or some shit not even a two i agree i mean they can't they can't uh be off the mark on the marketing the way they were with five i was totally misleading like, oh i mean the marketing was fire the game it was good but yeah it just the marketing didn't the game didn't, didn't match the, the, the yeah exactly marketing that was a problem than- <clears throat> yeah that was a the problem they kind of they focused too much on, on a, a, a very small part of the story that it wasn't really even that well developed yeah, so true. hopefully they don't do the same here in that the, first trailer they showed they're in the uh, walking dead Ah oh, man, it's fire. The chief comes up and he's like, he's all uh, locks all fucked up or whatever on his knee, and he's and chief's talking shit. Yeah. And then they do the opposite, and then it's, you know, locks like talking shit. And chief's all on the ground, shields all cracked. And I'm like, oh, I know. Wait, 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 what? No. Yeah, but it was there was nothing like that in the game. It was like a brief battle, and then because we never saw well, like the, the the game was about the, them you know, catching like, up. Like and then yeah. like halfway through, then they finally meet up, and he's like, "Oh, we <laughs> fought just for two minutes, and now it's uh, now we're, we're friends. We got to go and fix this." Yeah, exactly. I'm so much of a fanboy when it comes to that stuff, especially Halo. That when I seen that fight happen, I mean, I mean, remember that also? I turned my Xbox off. I was like, "No way! <laughs> this would never happen." You I mean lock cracking his visor? You mean? Yeah, I was like, in hell no. Are you kidding uh, me? I mean, the only thing I could give him is that he had a, a comparable armor uh, yeah. and maybe some good training, but even then, I don't know. Right. <laughs> I mean, was, Chief did, did whoop his ass. Come on, man. No, but he whooped his ass at the end. I mean, he, he touched that, yeah. that, that device. He beats on him the and... shit out of Locke. For, like, <laughs> so, like, there, there's no real question on who won the battle. Bro, you remember when you remember you remember when you listened to the podcast and they're explaining like how methodical Master Chief was. Like everybody was scared, everyone was freaking out. Like the uh, UN UNSC or whatever, however the fuck you said. Well, no, but like Chief's going to come assassinate some. They, big like they made it very clear, but, like even in canon, like that Chief isn't the bro. best fighter. He's not the best. He's not the He's just the luckiest. Like, he's just... Somehow, things work out around him. That's why Cortana chose him. It's part of the lore. Like, there are mm-hmm. Spartans that were stronger, faster. Like, mm-hmm. like there were just better fighters. Like, it's just... Chief shit just works out. Like, it's really weird. Like, that's um, the mythical that's part of him. That's what I'm saying, man. 
So, he, so he has uh, luck based powers similar to Domino I, from uh, yeah <laughs> from X Men and that's X-Men how universe. Cortana explains it. Like that's yeah. what she said. Like. But uh, real quick, look. Scottish Rangers. I think that uh, how this works is it's it, the volume is defaulted to the same as your microphone, uh, but there is not a way for you to control it through the Xbox Dash. They automatically have it in their setting. So yeah, the only way to really truly get yourself louder is to literally just go to the game audio and just turn it down, and that way your voice is louder than the game audio. But yeah, there's not a setting that I could find even in this, you know, in settings. Like it, they they have game slash voice for like captures, but I don't believe that has anything to do with streaming. I don't think that's gonna affect it for you. So I don't know. I would try restarting. Just it might could be a mic issue, but that's yeah, that's what I would start off with. Just try 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 a different mic maybe. Yeah, it's good advice. It, it, and also check if your mic has their, its own settings as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you have like, like a little dongle to your mic that has like <clears throat> its own uh, volume settings that you can adjust. Yeah, mine has a button on the side. So maybe that, maybe it's something like that. Right. But yeah, that is yeah. what I could find. I wish it could be more helpful. Mostly we stream through uh, an Elgato stream, you know, HD 60 so I can control everything on my computer Xbox is just a little bit more uh, limited on its streaming ability yeah I hope they add better implementation next gen with the streaming uh, yeah I, I really think with the better CPU and everything uh, it'd be cool if they could add overlays or something like and just allow mm-hmm. people to kind of have a cool streaming setup yeah, I think PlayStation has that, right? Their, their Dream Factory or uh, their streaming. To um, my knowledge, the last time I used PSN, it's pretty much just like Xbox when it comes to mm-hmm. the amount that you can customize. Um, yeah. They're both very limited. It's because, honestly, both OSs are very limited on what they have, other than, you know, that they don't give mm-hmm. up to game software. So you just don't get a ton of, uh, ton of options out there. But, right. yeah, sadly... Don't have a better answer for you, sir. I yeah. wish I could say there was a magical knob that you could turn up just to increase your audio. Yeah, sorry, Scottish. All right. Um, <laughs> I was, but we've kind of done a bit of a Halo talk. We've done, you know, we did hit, we hit all our news. So the news section of the show, of course, is completed. I've sent Eric another two messages. I was hoping that he would want to revisit every news item because, you know, he does. <laughs> uh, For his enjoyment? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what else is there? Like, TV talk, I guess, because uh, we can go back to the Henry Cavill thing. Real quick, I was uh, reading a little bit more about it. So it appears that Deadline is saying that Henry Cavill is going to appear in Black Adam, Aquaman 2, Shazam 2, and then hit Man of Steel 2. Is what Deadline's reporting, which would be really cool. I mean, Superman does play a big part in like the Shazam Black Adam universe. Uh, it, you know, I, I'm I'm ready to see Superman, like Henry Cavill Superman. I mean, the the tease so disappointing, and that they weren't able <laughs> to use Henry in the uh, Shazam movie at the end. Yeah, that was bizarre. They couldn't even do that. Like, come on. But if they do it right, like Henry's perfect, just have him show up in Shazam two and Ad- Black Adam two. I'm I'm down. I I'd, I'd fan girl out on that one. It'd be amazing. I know. See, I mean, it seems like since Affleck is out, he would be he should be the unifying element of the universes. Like, because you know how Batman recruited the Justice League pretty much, and then Superman was out of out of the game at the time. So maybe he'll kind of be the glue kind of like the tony stark of uh to bring everybody back together I mean, he, huh? it, it, you know what that would be better if like the justice league kind of did fall apart and yeah. henry cavill's the one that put it back together yeah that's yeah, that'd be cool. because superman always was like the founding me- member of the justice league in the Snyder universe, he definitely is not. <laughs> he is just uh, <laughs> a, a, a regenerated corpse that the Justice League decides to bring back because they don't have any uh, big heavy guns to fight 
the big baddies. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, that was, a, that was a really interesting approach. I mean, because, you know, Batman had, like, all these powerful people, but they had to kind of use teamwork and smarts to get the best of him, you know, and then he finally joins. And then the team's almost, like, almost too powerful because <laughs> they, they just kind of manhandle... Well, Superman. At least he, he just yeah. Well, yeah. Stephen Wolf comes Wolf. up, and Superman's just like, yeah. "I like justice." And then it's just like, "Yeah, this is why Superman's OP." Like he's literally just gonna, yeah, that that whole Flash moving fast thing. Yeah, he's gonna dodge the fucking fist, and then just start beating the shit out of Stephen Wolf. Like, yeah, which is and I that's think pretty like, much what happened. Like he doesn't. Right. You really didn't need any of the other characters. The only reason they were there is to free him up long enough to help Cyborg rip. Uh, the, what was it? The the power demons? No, the what are the the three boxes? The, the, the boom the, boxes, the mother boxes. The the mother boxes. boxes. Yeah. yeah. Which that uh, uh, I don't even like how they did the mother boxes in it. Like it was just weird. So so, what do you think? How do you think they're gonna handle like what's ultimately canon between the Snyder Cut and, and the? Oh, the Snyder WWE Cut's thing. canon. Fuck, uh, fuck Josh <laughs> No, like I don't know. I don't know how you play it because they're they're even calling it uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. No, they're not. It's not even Justice League. It's it's his Justice True. League. So it's I don't how they approach that. I imagine it's whatever the fans like more, and that's what it should be at the end of the day. Like if mm-hmm. Zack Snyder this releases next year and people dig it and they like how it finished, you know, kind of wraps up the Zack Snyder story. I don't think there's going to be an issue. It's just like, yeah, it's, that's the ending we use, but it's, it's, it's so weird until we see it because we know only a quarter. Well, we know roughly a quarter of the film is what Zack Snyder showed. So there's three quarters of the film that he didn't show that can just totally be different so i don't know i don't know how they approach this like yeah i mean i can't see the snyder version contradicting the like the stuff that came out of the justice league like aquaman and um maybe even suicide squad to a certain degree i i I mean hopefully he'll set it up so that it doesn't you know it still works well with the extensions well the question Um, is did because it's zach's stuff was already shot before josh did so, yeah. how much did Josh change Zach's vision? That's the real question. Because if Josh, yeah. like, because there was heavy reshoots, if Josh true, yeah. completely changed what Zack Snyder originally did, then this would be flipping that script right the fuck back, and it would be a completely different movie. Like, so the question is, is how much was changed in the original reshot? You know, like it, it's who fucking knows like this is it's it's never been done in film to my knowledge before where no. they just like hey we're gonna completely take the same well it's not even the same material that's the fucking catch like a little bit of the same material and just make a new movie out of it i think the closest thing was maybe the, the donner cut but that was but it's not like, even close that's adding scenes the, in like yeah, this is like, literally taking the three quarters of the film supposedly that Josh reshot because they didn't like Zach's approach, throwing that shit out, putting Zach stuff back, and then adding on some more. Like it's bizarre, and I don't. Yeah, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this. I was curious. Wasn't um, uh, J.K. Simmons uh, Gordon supposed to be? more in it like uh, did they cut his because i remember he's saying everybody's supposed to be a lot like amy adams was supposed to have a bigger role uh cyborg actually was supposed to play like um the main role of justice league uh which hey i'm down i i'll i'll watch a cyborg justice league if if cyborg was the reason the justice league got together i'd be down with that i think that makes more sense because yeah, at least he's the... connected to every to, to in the Zack Snyder universe, he's connected to everything. It makes sense that he'd be like, "Okay, let's grab these people and these people and put this shit together." Yeah, he, he does. It does kind of follow some of the New Fifty Two Justice League, where like Cyborg is more of a, a Justice League founder than than he was like because he was more of a team. Don't get me wrong, character. Batman's always Before been that. a founder, but but he's also like a part time Justice League member. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's yeah, never, and then, yeah. It's like Superman's always your founder. You got Cyborg. You got Flash. You got Wonder Woman. 
it's just yeah but cyborg was always like kind of a he was a well he, he did got ele- titans. elevated yeah yeah like, he was more of a titan a teen titan and then he but he was like so the justice adult league. that was part of the justice league that was like okay I'll, i watch over titans and make sure the titans are squared away and then we do you know i he he rolls through both he's a middleman <clears throat> yeah i mean that's kind of more recent right like he like he wasn't that big of a Justice League member before, like New Fifty Two, no. right? He was he was kind of a more of a like a more of a yeah. Legacy, once New Fifty Two hit, but, yeah, that's when they yeah. turned him into a middleman, where it's just like he's <laughs> going to be over the operations of the Titans, but you know he's mm. still totally. Uh, I was going to say an Avenger, oh, <laughs> a, a, a member of the Justice League. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious because like I was always a bigger fan of his Titans. Um, the way he was handled in the Teen Titans compared to like, I mean, I, I like the Justice League upgrade, but it kind of does do away with his history with the Titans, unless you, like you said, like you modify it so that he looks after the Titans now or something, or he's like kind of a, a mentor figure or something like that. You know, I can still pull it off. Better now is that Titans is streaming and it's getting a new season. And I wanted to talk about this because I've been, uh, I've been re watching. Oh, I've been watching Doom Patrol again. I, I was just started. I was just like, man, I want to watch another. Oh, fucking Doom Patrol! I could watch that. I love that show. Are those Turned shows back connected? On and huh? Are those two shows connected or are they? They separate? are not. Some fucking how they are not. They are two separate universes that are. Wow. That the Doom Patrol is in both universes and Titans are in both universes, but the shows are two separate universes. That's odd. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> cyborg is in fucking doom patrol and he is a member of the doom patrol like a full-time member of the doom patrol apparently that, that seems like an odd addition to me like uh, uh, he wasn't an original doom patrol member right i, I don't remember <laughs> I now don't think he was. but he's he's perfect for like because he brings the like heroic like boy scout part of doom patrol because everybody else is so fucking broken you get a guy that's been ripped in fucking half <laughs> and re-put together right. by a mo- mother box and he <laughs> he's sanity he's the regular one <laughs> yeah but he's like he's played by a smaller actor right and that one yes. is not like big or anything he's still like he's like pre in doom patrol he's trying to get become a member of the justice league mm. that's funny like he's like, hey, you know, I've been been doing some saves, but I I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I, I do like, yeah. I mean, I do like the connection to the to the you know the new gods with the dark side and the, mm-hmm. the mother box that would just I thought that was a cool addition to his his uh, mythology or whatever. <clears throat> so I'm 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 cool with that because it makes him more like his his tech and more uh, like powerful, I guess you know more. Uh, more interesting. But I will say, Doom Patrol made Cyborg's uh, origin story way darker, way fucking darker, and oh, it's, yeah? it's actually really good. He, I guess it's not too much of a spoiler. So his dad is the one that made him think he killed his mother in an explosion, which caused him to become Cyborg. What? Yeah, it's oh, fucking that. wild, and he's like sitting there thinking he killed his own mother the whole time, and it really wasn't his fault. But his dad implanted them. Uh, oh, it's, it's 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 okay. you got to watch Doom Patrol. It, it's it sounds crazy, but it's actually really well done. Doom Patrol is probably uh, no Doom Patrol is the best superhero TV show. Period. Uh, period. I don't want to pay for another yeah. streaming service. I know, but do you got HBO? Matt, do you have HBO? Just out of curiosity, on the TV. Yes. Well, you will automatically be upgraded to HBO Max because that's the new service that just started today, and because you're being automatically upgraded, you now have all of Doom Patrol on HBO Max because it's part of AT and T, which is part of HBO, which is part of fuck their new streaming service. Oh, so I thought that you had to pay for that. Nope, it is now part of HBO Max, so you can watch all of Doom Patrol. Part oh, man, of HBO. I thought that you had to pay for the, the Max. Like it's the same. It's the same. Issue. They're upgrading everybody to Max. If you've had HBO and it's fifteen bucks a month, HBO Max is fifteen bucks a month, and they're just upgrading people. Yeah, cool. Well, so you. yeah, watch Doom Patrol. 
and Titans. Titans is really good. I mean, it gets a little flack, but I think Titans... Like, those DC Universe shows are really well done. So, I'm curious. HBO is owned by Time Warner, which yes. is owned by at t Yep. Yeah, that's... It's like a, a box from the box. Of box. Of an obsidiary <laughs> of an obsidiary. It's essentially what Dis it's the same thing with Disney. Disney owns fucking Marvel, you know, because they own like four other businesses that own Marvel. Like they're just part of that package. Yeah, so but it's, it's 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 weird because like AT T was a telecommunications company and yes. then they're like now and huge like Disney <laughs> was a fucking cartoon company that had an amusement yeah. park and now they own I mean, fucking they had, every like, sports network in the world. We're just used to it now. Yeah, it just but Disney's like more like you like you it's, it's you're just used to it, sir. You're just used <laughs> to it because it's just these big gigantic companies now that just own like yeah. I'll put it this way. AT T is like is getting up there to Disney level in yeah, yeah, they are. Where they really are. Where they just own because they own all of Dish Network. Or no, they own all of Direct TV. They own all of HBO. They own all of course their network. It's just fucking wild. Is, so, are they yeah. part, is Spectrum in there at all? Or they're they're the independent company now? You know they're a time Warner came before and then they, they changed to Spectrum. I don't know if you know about all that stuff and Oh, they own Crunchyroll, I believe, too, in some way. Yeah. Mm. Not. I mean, the good thing is that uh, Xbox is going to have the app for that, too. So, HBO Max. I've seen that on the Twitter. There's an app for that? Yeah, I think they're going to have HBO Max. If it's not there already, I mean, maybe they, they, they updated the app or something with HBO Go or uh, who knows. Maybe that's different. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, and I was surprised that uh, PlayStation doesn't have as many apps as Xbox for like media. Like they didn't have stars. I was like, what? It's pretty odd. Which you know, stars were watch uh, Outlander, of course. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we got any yeah. more news pieces we want to go over? We. Oh no, no, the news is done, sir. We we've rung that bell. I don't think there's we covered we covered it all. Covered it all. You guys think they'll make uh, the Suicide Squad uh, director's cut as well? And they'll think they'll be like a HBO style. I, why not? Like they should. Fuck it. Because uh, if, if any, uh, look, don't get me wrong. Like Justice League has there's there. Uh, well, the other thing about Justice League is uh, I think they were talking to one of the CEO, like the CEO, and he was like, "Yeah," because the thirty million number came out of Valt reshoot. He was like, "I only wish it was thirty million dollars." <laughs> Yeah, so that's uh, it. being in production, <laughs> and and it was like, oh, so this is y'all are spending real fucking money on this shit. Fuck, okay, so <laughs> that, that's the extra part. But they like the Suicide Squad. However, they do have that movie. Like they have a cut. Like that doesn't need mi like thirty million dollars to fucking put together. So yeah. why not release it? Like just yeah, that, there's a ton of Joker footage that they <sighs> took out. Yeah, I mean, why not just release it? Fuck it. Like, put it on HBO Max. Just put... Uh, I forgot who did... The, who was the original director? You remember? Oh, for for which one? Suicide Squad. Uh, uh, David Ayer, yeah. Yeah, the David Ayer cut. Just put it up yeah. there. Yeah. Like, fuck it. Like, who cares? Like, I mean, you ain't going to the movies anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, like, just, just do it. Just put it out there. Like, it, it'll give a reason to watch it. And I don't... Like, with all these movies, like, different cuts and stuff, like, why not? Who cares that it's like? Uh, honestly, is it, if if the movie's completely different for Suicide Squad, would you really care? No, you just have it. A lot of people stream it. it; gives people a reason to subscribe. You're done. Plus you a, know, yeah. Plus, it's promotion for the upcoming uh, Suicide Squad with uh, what's his name from the Guardians? Uh, what's the director's name? I'll tell you, I want to know why I'm blanking now. Yeah. Huh? I know it's weird to have different cuts I'm of movies, sure. but yeah, I'm not sure. I I can look it up real fast. Yeah, I mean, so I, I, is the new Suicide Squad supposed to be like a soft reboot? I, I, I forget because it's so confusing. Well, it's weird because the DC, like with Cavill coming back supposedly, and all this stuff happening. Why, like, I guess it's not because fucking. Wonder Woman's still the same. Aquaman's the same. Superman's gonna be the same. We got a new Batman. I, like I yeah. guess. I mean, I if anything, it. it would just make sense for them to really do Flashpoint and just 
fucking redo like if they wanted to have a universe just restart it like just yeah when did they announce a sequel to suicide squad oh it was like a while back a while while back yeah Yeah. they just haven't really i mean they've said a bunch of stuff but and they filmed i think already but they they just they didn't really really reveal a whole lot of like the particulars of like the canon the canonicity of it i guess (laughs) i guess they said it's suffering but i don't know but uh so, but I don't know. Are they going to use like Ezra Miller because he he's had issues lately with like his whole, you know, image now. So with the, what happened with the with the fan on the street or whatever that 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 recording that weird recording was. <laughs> so uh, who knows? They're going to even use him for the Flash. Okay. Well. That's what I have to wait and see. Yeah. I didn't see the first one, to be honest with you. What, the first Suicide Squad? No, I didn't see it. Mm. It's, I mean, it, it was it's just disappointing because it, 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 would, uh, it would have been better if they would have kept in the Zack Snyder universe and actually... Because Suicide Squad theoretically should have fucking set up Justice League to have Darkseid. That was like kind of the whole point. And the, like to connect the movies, and then they just totally like, nope. She she's just a, a person that has the sword that takes souls. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's I mean, there a was witch. That... Like they they kind of took like all the cool context out of the characters. Yeah, I mean they kept the Batman and stuff with Affleck in there, which is cool. But then the Joker's all. It's just like the motivations for people didn't make sense, honestly. Yeah. And then they did that Birds of Prey movie, which I don't even know if that's connected <laughs> to, um, to DC. It's it's an extended universe movie. Like, it's... Uh, I don't... That movie's just bizarre. Yeah, because then Jared Leto's probably not going to be back as Joker anymore. So. Yeah, well, that's done. There's no way. Yeah. I mean, I I didn't even mind his Joker as much as people like fucking went ape shit about it. It was just, but Joker to me is like a motherfucker you would not want to be in the same room with, and I would never want to be in the same room with the fucking Jared Leto Joker because he'd fucking kill you. Like <laughs> the whole point is he's psychotic. He was like he's he's just too psychotic. It's like no, that's, that's what the Joker is. Like he's a fucking madman, with the fucking gun. Yeah. Like he, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but at least keep keep it consistent. You know, like don't don't right. recast again. I mean, or, or if you're gonna recast, like keep the the visuals or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's like the Red Skull, you know. Um. All right. Um. I think that's gonna be it for media. Have you been watching anything else? I mean, I, I've been watching Plunder. We finally got back to the the future in that, so we got out of the high school phase. Of that anime, uh. Uh, I haven't really been watching much uh, anime. Just been t- regular TV. Okay. Watched the Epstein doc start that today. Did you see that? No, I haven't watched it. Yeah, well, started that. Uh, started another show, Criminal Minds. You watched that before? I, I I've heard about that. Is that the one with uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know any of the actors' names, <laughs> but it's mostly CSI. But yeah, CSI yeah. Version. Is it like a watered down version of uh, CSI? <laughs> oh, it's a uh, it's like the Quantico FBI version of CSI. Mm. Basically. Yeah, I've heard a lot of bad reports about the production of that show. Yeah, lately. the production isn't like you can tell that it had a small budget for the first season. Yeah. Hopefully, the second season gets better. We'll see. Yeah. All right, uh, let's get in what you've been playing. I played Minecraft Dungeons. I like it a lot. I'm playing, I'm level 10. I'm playing it right now. I'm playing it right now. What level are you, sir? What level? I mean, I started. I did the first oh. mission. Oh, okay. It's fun. I, like, it feels real smooth. It's not overly complicated. I like all the hidden stuff. I'm a completionist, so it kind of, for me, it like uh, I, I visit every little fucking nook and cranny to find, trying to find everything. And it looks good in 4K 60. Like, it runs super smooth, and it looks really good, and it kind of really wants me to, to have that fucking 4K Minecraft patch, because it would make that shit look a lot better. Because it does look really good. 
You know, it's weird. Uh, I was looking at the Mojang like Twitter and it hasn't been active since like 2019, which is odd because they didn't even, I don't think they've even said anything about Minecraft Dungeons. <laughs> I think it has its own like thing Twitter dedicated to it. I don't know. Did you have you seen that, Dustin? No. Like, you check out the, the, the Mojang um, Twitter. Like, it's it's odd. It's been like inactive. And then I don't think they've even said anything about Minecraft Dungeons on their, on their thing, unless I got the wrong Twitter, but I, I kind of doubt it. But uh, yeah, I was curious. I was going to buy uh, Minecraft, uh, uh, what do you call it? Dungeons, but I keep hearing mixed things about it. I heard it's like the content's not like a lot in there. It just it's kind of like a set amount, and you have to just redo like your things to get higher levels. And then um, they had the expansion packs coming out later, which I, I might just hold off and wait for like uh, to get more content. I guess maybe. Felt like that's the running theme with all this, all these games. Recently. I mean, yeah, I'm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Dustin doesn't think so. I don't know. What do you think? Is is it? Is it enough? Like, is, I, it, is it fine? I put an hour or so into this game so far, and I've only done like a dungeon and a half. So, and I know there's like six other dungeons, and like I don't at this point feel like I'm being short shafted. Mm. But I haven't played more than that, so I, I like I can't really answer this honestly. Okay. Like, I want to say there's it, to me so far. I think there's enough content, but. Like I said, like it, it, it's like people that bitch about like games that are only fucking eight hours long. It's like, but I don't want a fifty-hour game. Like I don't want a fifty-hour Halo campaign. No, because you're gonna make me go fucking like kill boar or some shit and bring it back to Cortana to revive her <laughs> or some shit. I don't want to do that. I just yeah. want a good tight like eight-hour campaign where I'm shooting a bunch of motherfuckers and it's gonna be fun. And I don't need 50 fucking hours of that. I just need to, you know, that's for the multiplayer. We'll shoot each other nonstop. It'll be fun. Like, I just need a solid 10 hours, you know? And it sounds like this game right now with the content that released is like 20 hours. So yeah, I, I mean, don't see why months. that's an issue. Like, yeah, and if months, you right? completed it, compl uh, I think so. And if you completed... If you complete everything and get all the secrets and do every, you know, it's forty hours long mm. from what Jez was playing. So I can't sit there. Like I think it's weird, and it sounds like reviewer, like not all reviewers. Some reviewers just like played the first, like the they ran through as fast as they could to say they beat it, and they did it in three hours. And they're like, yeah, we're done. We're not doing any of the side stuff. We're not doing any of the secret. Uh, missions because yeah I spent a good like fucking 40 minutes doing like this new like the secret level that me and my friend uh, my friend found and we just it, that shit was long and it was like cool this is awesome like this is exploring and getting loot and having fun like I'd like it. well I heard I Microsoft give them a, a short turnaround for like the reviews maybe that's why because they think they're given like two days advance or something like that yeah but it's it's I don't know. The the reviews seem weird. Like either mm -hmm. people are playing it a lot or they're just Yeah, I beat it in like it. three, four hours and I'm done. It's like Yeah. Okay, so you didn't do like it'd be like a game that's that's heavily side quested and just yeah, I did I I beat Elder Scrolls in five hours. I'm the game is that long. It's like, no, you you skipped all the other shit that is Elder Scrolls. You did literally sat on the main campaign and Never explored. You ran down that line just to beat it as fast as possible. You didn't give that game a fair shake. You know, like that's how yeah. to me. That's how they read. So, so far, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll have a different opinion next week. I'm off the next two days. It's a game I really want to play. I'm enjoying it, um, and it's something I'm going to play with my friends. And I'm honestly thinking about. I already. I bought the Hero Edition on Xbox. I am probably going to buy it on Switch. It just feels like uh, a yeah. good game for it. I was gonna ask you about that. If you bought the uh, the thirty dollar edition or the twenty, I bought the okay. thirty. I mean, I got technically I had it free for Game Pass, but I was like, you know what, this game's kind of getting shit. I'll buy it. I want to own it. I want the. Yeah. And I got a little chicken. It's awesome. He follows me around. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if um if they if they're gonna. Uh, forgot my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, real quick, the Hero Edition comes with you get a little chicken, you get a cape. And you get both DLC packs that are coming out. But I imagine oh, you're going to yeah, get those DLC right. packs if you have 
Game Pass. I, I can't imagine they're going to hide those under like a pay a pay to play. Yeah, probably not. Because they haven't done that for any other game, so I'm I'm fairly confident that's going to just stay. Uh, you're just going to get those DLC packs no matter what. But yeah, that's if you don't have Game Pass and you bought the hero, that's what you're getting. The DLC packs, you're getting a cape and you're getting a chicken pet that follows you. That makes a so, little ticking sound. It sounds like a fucking mechanical pencil. It's just tick, 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 <laughs> stop. And I was sitting there, I was like, is something fucking annoying? broken? Like, what? <laughs> oh, it's totally fucking annoying. Because me and my friend both had the fucking hero pack. We both had separate chickens making the goddamn sound. And I was like, tick, 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 tick. And I had to turn it off. <laughs> it was just too much clicking. And I'm lying there. I didn't turn it off. I just fucking <laughs> dealt with the ticking. Man. Tick, 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 tick. That's, that's not, it doesn't sound fun. I mean, it's, it's hilarious, and then it's annoying. And <laughs> at the same time, like, it, it kind of evens out, you know? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, is there any crafting in there? Or, no, or it's not? not a crafting. It's all about, like, you, so for, from what I could tell so far, no crafting at all. You, It's like a Diablo light game, but it has, it's deep enough where you, like, you're like, oh, if I use this sword or that, I can get these buffs, and you're, that's there and then like if you buy stuff from the blacksmith it's you don't you're not even picking what you want to buy it's a random piece of armor for your level that just you can equip and yeah it's it's That's meant weird. to be like a, a, a an easy way for you and your kid to play a diablo like game without the mm -hmm. demonic presence <laughs> over top of it the entire time but like um, but wouldn't it make sense to like have like let's say you collect like little brick rocks or something and you can craft like a, a, a axe like a hammer with it like like kind of with those little rock points. I, I just to maintain the like the Minecraft little area like part of it, you know, like just to. Craft. I think the separation's fine. Like I don't think you need that. Honestly, if you mm. play it, you that's not it's not on your mind. Mm. No, nah, I don't. Really I, I think it'll be. I, I get you. I, I just think it'll be like a cool little like not. I know. Like, I I get what you're saying. Thing. It's definitely. But yeah. there's so much Minecraft in it already. You know. Th what's cool is the familiarity of. I know the enemies. I know what's like. I kind of know what's gonna come, and it's like this cool. There's enough characters too that it it feels right. Uh, it doesn't feel like I'm fighting the same three people nonstop. Uh, and the weapon, like it, it feels good. Um, it really does. Like the the controls feel tight, and I you know. But like I said, it's I think it's meant for more like a teen rated like hey like you and your kids can play a game, and you're not going to be bashing your fucking head against the wall because you're you know playing a kitty game or or then mm -hmm. you're not pushing your kid to play you know. And I can't don't get me wrong, I'm fucking stoked for the next Diablo. I can't fucking wait. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. But I don't know if I'd let a six-year-old play it. <laughs> yeah. Because it is a bloody fucking game. Like, it is one of the bloodiest games I've ever seen. People, exp you literally use corpses as bombs. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fucking... Yeah, pretty much. So, this has a new uh, Microsoft logo, too, right? Like, the... Yes. It has the, the Microsoft the logo style. that they stole from Sony, that they stole from Marvel, that they stole from <laughs> eight million other fucking companies that... Everybody's using that stupid fucking... You turn the sign sideways and there's a picture of the game! Like, it's just... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I get it must it. be weird to play it on a, on a PlayStation and see that, that new logo pop up. I mean, I know Minecraft's on there already, but... See that logo and like, it's pop up. And... It's amazing. <laughs> uh, okay, real quick. Zarya says that the Solar Opposites... The Solar Opposites is dope. It's not as, fun as Ricky, funny as Rick and Morty, but it's good. Yes, it is. I told you. Told you. See this man? Stuff just has to rub it in. All right, all right. I'll check it out. Okay, Solar Opposites. What is it on? I don't even know. Hulu. Oh. Hulu. <clears throat> Isn't there a game as well based on that? Or am I might think about something else. Uh, Possibly. Let me see. I think it's from the same creator as Rick and Morty as well. I think it's, uh, let me see, I have on my wish list. Uh, oh, no, Tro Trover Staves the Universe. No, that's different. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, definitely, that's definitely yeah. different. All right. Let's see. Uh, what do we got going? What? No, no. What? 
Did I play anything else? I can't. I'm gonna play some Sea of Thieves coming up, so I'll have that to talk about next week. Yeah, that's a good update, to... man. Yeah. Um. I don't think I've played anything else. I haven't even really played COD. Like, I've just been working mm. a lot, a lot of nights. So yeah, I hate to say yeah, I'm, I'm the boring one. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't have much. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I, I started watching Doom Patrol again. I love Doom Patrol. It's definitely the best superhero show. <clears throat> so, so that the DC app is going to be folded into HBO uh, Max, right? Is that kind of, because HBO Max, like, I was checking it out today. HBO Max has like Adult Swim in it. It has all these shows, but like they're using like, like I said, they have Crunchyroll in it. But it's like ten animes out of Crunchyroll that they own, and it's not like their top mm-hmm. ones to show off anime. Mm-hmm. They're not. They don't have the entirety of Crunchyroll on HBO Max. Um, and there's a few different ones like that. It's just, it's different. Um, hmm. But it's... Interesting. All of HBO is up there. It's just not all the extra, like, content from... Like, it doesn't have all of the DC Extended Universe. There's a lot of movies missing and stuff like that that mm-hmm. I know that's on the Extended Universe. But they do have all of Titans and Doom Patrol up there. And, like, Stargirl's up there. And all those are going to be updated going forward, I would imagine. Yeah, Which I, I did. Keeping, I want to throw yeah, it out yeah. there. Episode one of Star Girl, amazing. Episode two, not so much. Mm. <sighs> like I thought it was okay. It's not bad. It's not great. It was just kind of like, ah, uh, this is. Man, it started so strong. But then you know, maybe episode three. We'll see. That's a bummer. I mean, maybe I'll get better. I'm curious if they're going to keep them separate then, because because Disney has the Marvel thing inside of its own service so i'm curious because hbo max is more of an adult thing but dc does have adult material in there too like at least pretty hardcore so i, I don't know i guess it would make sense to just kind of fold it into there and then or i don't know <laughs> yeah. i guess if you don't want to be gypped of your dc subscription maybe maybe they'll transfer well the dc subscription HBO. does also offer all the comics and its own yeah it's that's its too. own little thing but it's i don't know yeah but to we'll, finish we'll off see. any dc talk real quick Doom Patrol Season 2 comes out June 25th. I can't wait. I'm excited. Mm. They're the size of ants right now because of uh, <laughs> plot. Uh. <laughs> so surprised Brendan Fraser is like Robot Man. That, that's crazy. <laughs> He's perfect. And what's great is the uh, the actor isn't uh, that actually has the suit on isn't Brendan Fraser. <laughs> they, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. They have, uh, yeah, they have him just do the voiceover and they were taught about how they went both to the same school of art and they, they understand how to like act the same way essentially. And that's oh, why that's they're cool. such a great uh, kind of mix. I mean, they're like 20 years apart, but because they went through the same uh, school of art, they uh, understand the same lingo. <laughs> All right. That's cool, man. Uh, what else? Have you played anything else? Will? have you been uh... more productive than I have? <laughs> well, you know, between uh, PUBG and sometimes I've been playing uh, Anthem, uh, Apex, but uh, you'd be quite surprised to know that I started playing Destiny 2. <laughs> Did that, you now? Was, yeah, so it's another game as a service game, you know, another, uh, you know, looter shooter. But I mean, because I, I, I was playing on PlayStation, because my cousin uh, is a PlayStation guy, so I was like, all right, I'll play it on there. I played some Crucible, you know. So I was like, let me just try it on Xbox because, like, I, I, the controller, I, I, I can't handle it <laughs> over there. It's just like I, the PS4 controller for first-person shooters is it, it's so awkward, like, because it's so wide and the, the handles are short. So it, it's it's a bit difficult to to get my shots in. And then um, on top of that, the game is 30 frames, frames per second, so it, it, that makes it feel even, like, slower, like like you're, like, kind of playing in molasses or something. It's, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm getting into it. Like, I'm just playing the free because it's free, you know. So it's, it's a lot of content for for free because <laughs> you get, I think, two or three expansions in there already. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just trying to see how much I can get out of it like, as a free game, uh, and not try not to invest too much into it. You know, I do, although I did see a cool armor that I put on Twitter. I think uh, Free Line saw that one. Uh, <laughs> Josh, it was, it was a cool armor there but yeah. it would be like 15 bucks i'm like uh, i don't know if the game is free and it's paying 15 bucks for an armor 
I don't know. But then again, I, I pay for Anthem stuff and Apex, so maybe I'm part of the problem. <laughs> maybe I'm uh, I shouldn't be talking much about that, but yeah, I've been playing Destiny too. The, just 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 to see how the campaign is. It's pretty fun. I mean, I, I like it, but like in 30 frames, it's 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 rough. It's a pretty game, but yeah, I definitely would like to see this game get an upgrade next gen for like 60 frames. Um, outside of that, uh, play a little bit of Halo multiplayer MCC with my cousin. I was playing just the Halo 2 maps. Uh, it's still an awesome multiplayer. Like I haven't played it in such a long time, so I'm I'm so rusty. That I, I get owned right away, but <laughs> still fun and uh, it looks great. Sound is really punchy. I love it. Um, played Halo Five. I, I'm just still trying to get uh, past this uh, legendary difficulty in the uh, San Helio. It's just fucking. It, it's it's amazingly like difficult. It, it's it's so cheap. <laughs> I can't stand it, but I, I want to get through it. But it's it's just so annoying. It's very frustrating. Um. Outside of that, uh, Streets of Rage 4, they patched it finally, so it's more up-to-date with the other versions. And that's pretty much it. Uh, what about your stuff? Hi, hey, Mo. Oh, yeah, we played Apex as well, so me, me and Steph. Yeah, oh, yeah, we did play Apex. What about the yeah, Apex? Season 5. I actually won a game uh, my first my first time playing. Nice. Not with Will. Not with Will, but... Yeah. <laughs> we uh, did win before, though. Yeah, it's just to set the record. <laughs> Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, Apex, some duty, some duty. Warzone, one of my first match of Warzone. On Call of Duty, did that. Uh, nice. Congratulations. Uh, I'm not cursed. I started this Minecraft. I've been playing, still a little Gears Tactics, but as I explained earlier, I got stuck. Uh, what else? I want to say that's basically it, man. I haven't really played anything else that I can think of. I did get uh, Z Fighters. That was oh, on sale. Yeah, oh, that's a good deal. That was very, pretty cheap. But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's that's it. I'm surprised how low in gigs that game is. I think it's like five or six gigs. Like two Z fighters. Yeah, it's that's crazy, especially on Xbox. I think it's because it's high resolution. So I don't know. It's weird. <clears throat> yeah. All right, then. Well, well, is there, is there anything else we need to cover? Go over. Uh, I think we covered everything, man. Yeah, we got the with the Xbox news to the end of the show. Multimedia. <laughs> yeah, we've hit pop culture. We've hit everything. It was, I don't it was think a long show. Left. Uh, who'd win in a fight? I guess uh, Superman <laughs> or. The Spectre. There's only one right answer. It's the Spectre. Spectre? Right. Yeah, Spectre's way more powerful than yeah. Superman. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it really wasn't a question. It's just, <laughs> I like the Spectre. He's cool as a character. Yeah. He has to relive every moment in time and witness it. He's, he's not in much media for, for DC, surprisingly. it's It's not... He's, He's not too really... god level character ish. Like it's yeah. you, you don't need him in it. Like <laughs> it's just it's just terrible writing at a certain point, you know. When you have characters like that, it's just was he in the crisis the WB crisis thing? Yep, he was in the CW crisis. Oliver Queen is the Spectre. Oh, that's right. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. so the when they killed but... Oliver for the Green Arrow, they made him the Spectre, so he can always show back up in the CW shows just as the Spectre. Because why not? Did Maybe. that happen in the comics too? I mean, besides the Hal Jordan thing, I think so. But Spectre's usually not. I don't think he's. I don't know. I had to go back. I don't believe the Spectre is Oliver Queen, in most of like. I think that was their own little design mm, okay all right well we appreciate everybody for hanging out with us this week we will be back next week on wednesday 9 p.m eastern come and hang out with us and uh hopefully i'll have played some sea of thieves and let you know if the you know if it's smooth sailing or not yeah yeah shout out to uh psychotron uh scottish uh azari uh thanks for coming by stopping by and uh Checking us out. Appreciate right. it. 
Yes, sir. Be, yes, sir. And everybody that, you know, listen on the podcast, like, uh, thanks for tuning in. And subscribe. Yeah, props to, we appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. That's right. That's the letters. And Fitty Line, too. Uh, props to Fitty Line is always a, a, a good man who good follows man. a good, good show. <laughs> Strong, honest man. But yes, please write us in at <laughs> letters at xboxuncut.com. But until then, y'all stay safe, healthy, and out of trouble. Peace out, everybody. Peace.